Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be unboxing for you guys a out of print rare Blu-ray collection. Before I do, I want to tell you guys, uh, tomorrow I'll be releasing the video that will be giving away all my 4K digital codes for the MCU movies, excluding Ant-Man, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, and Thor Ragnarok, as I've already used the Blu-ray copies of those, and, well, I, well, never mind, I do have Thor Ragnarok's Blu-ray copies, so it's just going to be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, and Ant-Man, which I won't be giving away because I do not own the 4K codes or the Blu-ray codes for those anymore. I've already used them. But uh, I will be getting those on 4K here soon. Best Buy just restocked them, so I'm probably going to be heading up to Best Buy probably within the next two weeks to get them. But uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll be giving away all the codes. We first come, first serve. So the first guy who watches the video, hopefully you'll get all the codes. But uh, anyway, I want to go in and get to this unboxing. So in 2013, Paramount and Warner Brothers released a collaborative um, box set of Friday the 13th. Uh, if you know anything about it, you know that it did not, from what I heard, it did not sell well. So they didn't make as many. Um, it originally went for $100 back in 2013, but I paid $385 for it, brand new on Amazon. So this is how it looks like. Uh, you've probably seen a few YouTubers who rank the movies use this box set. This is the one that most YouTubers use. Um, it came out on, uh, I think it was September 13th, 2013, I believe was the date. It came out on a Friday of the 13th, and, um, which was a nice tactic. I love that they released it on Friday the 13th. And what this is, is every single Friday the 13th movie under, in one box set, instead of, like, it being split up. Just like, the newly released box that just came out, this just originally Paramount movies, this one includes all of them. So, you open it up, it's on the entire... So it looks like mine came in a little damaged, but that's fine. You know, there's a dent right here and a dent right here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, it has a picture from the remake. And you take it out as like this. And what you have here is, first off, what's holding the book and the disc book together is a band that says uh, this. And it says, I warned the others. They didn't believe me. You're all doomed, uh, which is cool. Then you get a an iron patch for a jacket, which I will not be using on my jacket. I'm just going to keep it in this because I know it's a collector's item. You get a 40-page booklet, uh, a, a bridge version of the Crystal Lake Memories. Uh, I prefer the documentary. The book was good, but the documentary was really well done. Um, and you also, inside the case, get a pair of 3D glasses, two pairs of them, part three. And I've already used the digital code to get the digital code of all the movies. And, but the main reason why you probably got this is for the movie. So this is what the this book looks like. I see really nice, really detailed. Um, and then once you open it up, giant 13 on the inside. And then it goes part one, part two, part three, part four. Now this is where my negatives come in. They put, for three pages, they put two of the same movies on one disc. So you got part five, part six, part seven, part eight, J uh, Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X. And then it goes back to the singular disc stuff, which is uh, Freddy vs. Jason, and then the 2009 remake, which I absolutely love the remake. And then you got the DVD, not the Blu-ray, but the DVD of the killer bonus disc. It comes with like certain content, uh, certain special features that are only on the previously released Blu-ray. I think it was on DVD. And then that's it. So overall, do I think this was worth the money I spent on it? It depends on if you're a big Friday the Thirteenth fan. Uh, if you always wanted this piece of uh, blue, if you always wanted this Blu-ray, it's sort of kind of worth it. Uh, the Blu-ray transfers are absolutely gorgeous. I watched the first two movies and they were absolutely beautiful. They look really good. Uh, originally, I would if it was a hundred dollars still like it was at release, I would said absolutely it's worth the money. But at three hundred and eighty-five dollars is what I paid for. Some of them actually go for a thousand dollars. Just depends on how much you love the franchise. Uh, to me, I do think it's worth it because you do get all the movies. But it's just all opinion based. But I do love this box set. It's going to look great on my shelf. And the fact that it's rare now and it's out of print just makes it that much more worthwhile for me. But uh, yeah, so that's my unboxing of the Friday the 13th Complete Collection. Like I said, tomorrow I'll be giving away digital codes for the MCU movies, with the exception of Ant Man and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. So you guys stick around for that. Uh, I can't wait to give away the codes to people who like you know, the MCU. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.